Home Bosses. Thank you for joining me today and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make an interior for a book in Canva. If you have watched my last two videos they make reference to a list of niches that I've got in my Gumroad store and if you remember we had a list of around 15,000 book ideas and we're going to take one of those ideas, create an interior and then I can show you how to modify that interior on Canva. So let's hop onto Canva first and I've decided that we can make a bill tracker. Now a bill tracker or a bill organizer is a book where people can write in the kind of bills that they're getting, the expenses they have every month, like for example your electricity bill, your gas bill, your rent, your mortgage, whatever's coming out of your bank account, you can write that down in the book and then you can write down the date or what kind of bill it is, the amount it is for, when it is due and the date that it has been paid. So. Let me show you what I mean and we're on Amazon.com in incognito mode and let's type in bill tracker or bill um, planner, bill organizer. Let's type in bill organizer. We can have a look later at what kind of keywords we want to use. So these are all the bill organizers and basically if we click on one of them, let's have a look at this one just to get an idea of what the interiors are going to be. So this one, right, okay, so we can have a look here. It's very, very simple. Now this one I, th I believe has got pockets and it's a ring binder, so this is not one that we can create on KDP, but we can create the same interior. So you can see there's only one, two, three, four columns. One says bill, one is for the amount, the date due and the date paid. So very, very simple and we can recreate this in Canva. So let's have a look and see how we can recreate this. Let's go on to Canva and we click on create a design and we type in our custom dimensions which is um, I'm, I think I will add bleed to this because, you know, we might want to add some graphics that go to the edge of the paper. So let's create this one with bleed. And for that, I go to tangent templates, which is the easiest way to do it. I go on the KDP helper. This is why I love tangent templates because it just helps me with so many things that I do. So, you click on KDP Helper, you type in the size that you want this to be, which is 8.5 by 11. Let's make this about 120 pages. The paper is white and we select Bleed, yes. So now we can click Continue and it gives us exactly the sizes that we need. So we don't worry about the cover now, we will do that later. Let's have a look at the interior and we scroll all the way down here to Canva because we're making the interior in Canva and it gives us the exact sizes that we need for bleed. So this is 8.625 by 11.25. So let's select that. We go on to inches and we type in 8.625 by 11.25 and that will give us the exact size that we need for an 8.5 by 11 book with bleed. So now we've got our canvas here, we can create our interior on this and what I like to do, even though we've selected bleed, I like to show a margin anyway so that I've got a guide um, to, you know, to fit my interior in the center and it just helps me to to center things and to, to put them in the right place. Now, if we have another look at the interior, let's have a look. So we need one, two, three, four columns and this one should be a little bit wider than the other three. So let's go back to Canva. And I think the easiest way to create columns is to go on elements and pick one of these square 
shapes and what we can do is we can make them smaller um, and drag them all the way right up to the to the edge so now we can make I think they can be a bit smaller like this let's change the color just to make it a bit better and also we can't have color in the interiors so we need to do it grayscale and now all we need to do is repeat this um, pattern because this is going to be where we type in or where we, where we write in our details so let's just duplicate this and then I'll just put them one under the other and we do this all the way down to the end so I'm going to stop the video continue doing this and then I'll I'll continue again when I have filled in the whole page so now I filled in the whole page let's um, make these more visible by changing the color so we keep um, let me do it this way so we make one gray one white one gray one white one gray it's taking a little while to do that <laughs> one gray next one will be white so again I'll stop the video and I'll continue to do that on the whole page and now we need the columns we need to um, have some lines here so again that's very easy you go on to elements in Canva and yet you, you just choose lines let's try this one it's quite a thick line um, I think maybe I'll choose a different one let's see how it would look with a different one let's have a look at all the lines so there's a few to choose from um, we just want a plain line really um, I wonder how this would look I'm not quite sure about that let's choose the, the line again and let me see if I can make it a bit thinner by dragging it out that's not making it thinner this might make it thinner by pushing it in and then dragging it out yeah so so I don't know if you noticed that I made it thinner I'll do that again to show you so we click on this line it's a little bit too thick so if we want to make it thinner drag the, the box in to make it thin and then you drag it out to the side like that so now it's a little bit thinner and then what we want to do is we want to turn it horizontally sorry we want to turn it vertically um, and then we need to adjust the length so that should go right to the bottom there so now we've got our column let's put this over here and we need I think it was four columns in total so we need two more of these lines so we just click duplicate up here and we've created the columns for our um, bill organizer so roughly we want them to be equally spaced so let's have a look see what that looks like we want to change the color so let's match it to the gray there we are so now we've got our columns and our lines now we need to put in the text to let people know what they have to enter in these columns so up here we will call this bill you can also create an invoice organizer and just call this column invoice but we're going to call this bill for now and then we want to call the next one um, amount so this is where we will where people or where your customers will type in the amount that they need to pay for this bill and the next one will be date due this is oops I've put, this is the date the bill has to be paid and then the next one is date paid so this is where your customer can 
write in when they've paid the bill so when they see that it's been paid they know they don't have to worry anymore <laughs> so let's drag them over to the beginning a little bit just to center everything this is something that you can take your your time with right so now we've got our columns everything that's that's important let's take away the grid so that we can see what this will look like uh, right so this is what your bill organizer will look like we need to give this a heading so let's type in um, maybe bill organizer and we can make this a little bit bigger so let's actually have a look at some examples on amazon and let's see what other people do it's always good to check your competition and to see what they do and check the best sellers and try don't copy but try to be inspired and get ideas from them so let's have a look at that so this is the one we were looking at and we've got more or less the same layout let's see what else we can find on amazon let's type in bill organizer let's see what comes up and we really want to look at the kdp ones now so let's click on paperback and you can see here's a monthly budget planner so let's see this is probably a different interior let's have a look inside this is an account tracker so this is something that you would copy from your bank account so you write in the date the transaction whatever um, has either come out or come into your bank account so and then you write in the amount if it's a withdrawal so if it's come out of your account but if it's gone into your account, you write in deposit and then you have the balance. So this is more like an account, uh, something where you track your, your bank account details. So you could do something like that. Let's see if there's anything else. Um, so this is the bill, or bill organizer. There's a monthly bill payment and organizer this is uh, again very similar let's look inside this is a little bit more complicated than our one ours is um, a lot more simple and you could add any of these things to to your one you know how to make the columns now so you can add columns to this make the lines a little bit thinner like like this one so this is another idea for you to do so you can customize the one we made on canva i've just shown you a really quick way to do it um, so let's have another look let's see what else we can find i want to see if we can find a really simple one you can see that they're all selling um, they've got good BSRs, so they're not selling every day, but I'm sure they sell a few copies a month. And if you have a few of those, then it does create a really good income for you. So this is another one. This is more complicated, the interior. You can see how they've organized it um, and they've divided this into expenses, income. So you can easily create something like this in Canva. Um, let's have a look at another example this is quite a pretty one let's see it's got a very good bsr so let's have a look this is more like a budget planner so I, i'm expecting the interior to be a little bit more complicated um, than the one we have created so it's got a nice little quote at the front and this is similar to a monthly budget planner that i have created as well so again you can do this on canva very easily a little bit more detail than what we have created but very similar you know all the difference here is it's got a column for the number so you can put one two three and number the bills i don't think that's necessary again this is very similar to ours the bill 
um, the date that it's due, the amount and the date that has it has been paid. And then what they've done is they added a little bit of a summary here. Um, it's got a space for the month, whatever budget that you have for that month, and then your sources of income. So again, very easy to make in Canva and it's a lovely book to create. So this is just one example. Let's go back to our uh, creation. So we called it Bill Organizer. So now all you have to do is duplicate these pages. You could make these lines a little bit thinner so that you have more lines per page. But I just wanted to show you a really quick way to make something like this in Canva. And the other thing I will show you in my next video is how to download a pre-made uh, template from Creative Fabrica and then how you can change it. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link to my Gumroad shop underneath the video and I'm going to put this in my shop for free so you can download it and then you can edit it on Canva any way you like. You can call this Bill Organizer, but you can call it something else. We can have a look at the keywords. I think I will make another video um, after this to look at the keywords for for this particular organizer. And let's see what else we can call this, what other books we can make with this same template. And then you can change it and create your your own book and we can go or you can go through the list that I put on my Gumroad shop, the list of 15,000 book ideas and I'm sure you can find a way to use that list together with this template and to, to niche down so that you can make this a bill organizer for men, bill organizer for women, bill organizer for family or even for children because it's a good idea to start teaching children how to organize their finances. So that's another idea, but I'll go through that in my next video. But in the meantime, I'll leave the link for this template underneath the video so you can download it and you can edit it in Canva. So I hope you liked this video. I hope it was useful for you. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, as always, I would really appreciate if you subscribe. And also because then you can get notifications whenever I bring out another video. So thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.